I got a demonstration set up here to demonstrate that a shorted out load can blow your fuse. I have it drawn out right here, just a transformer bringing in 120, 120 on our primary side and 25 volts AC on our secondary side. Here you can see our transformer and there's our switch bringing in our 120 and then coming out from our fuse, it feeds right into our relay coil and terminates back into our transformer. So here, our transformer coming out, the 120 feeds into the fuse. And coming out from the fuse goes directly to our relay coil right here. So coming out from the fuse directly to our relay coil and it terminates back to our transformer. As you can see here on the diagram, it, trans it terminates back to the transformer. So right now the relay is not shorted, so obviously it works like it should. If we apply power, you can see that the coil is magnetizing like it should. You can see that the contacts are switching states. And you can see that we have a good fuse right now, because if we would take a measurement, we have 25 volts coming in and 25 volts going out. So that tells me that is a good fuse. And if we would go right across the fuse like this, we have no difference of potential either. No voltage drop, so that tells me again that the fuse is good. Now I've ran a jumper wire across the coil pins to simulate a shorted out coil. So we're simulating that this coil has shorted out internally. So now let's go ahead and turn on our switch. And you can see that it is not switching states like it should anymore. We have blown the fuse. Now we have voltage feeding into our fuse. We have no more voltage coming out from our fuse. And doing a voltage drop right across the fuse, we can see that we see a potential difference of our voltage. And this is a heads up to point this out. Anytime you are going to check a fuse, if you are checking in the ohms with the power off, make sure that you pull that fuse out and you don't check it in line because you will get back feed through the shorted coil of your load and back feeding from the transformer and it give you a false reading. So right now we know, we just verify that with the voltage difference, this fuse is blown. But if I would check it in the resistance reading and go right across the fuse like that, I end up with a really low resistance reading. And if I would check it in the continuity, I even have continuity. So if you are checking it de-energize and doing it in the continuity or ohms setting, Make sure to pull the fuse out and isolate it from the circuit. Now we pulled out the fuse from the circuit. And here you go. You can see that the fuse is indeed blown. Also check it in continuity. And you see that we no longer have continuity. So that is something to be wary and remember that if you are going to be testing through a transformer or your load, isolate it because your load could be shorted and it's going to backfeed everything through the transformer. You're going to get that resistance reading and it will trick you and make you think that your fuse is good. So thank you for tuning in with this little demonstration. Until next time, deuces.